holy crap. We got our black and ranch, our chicken tenders, our beautiful biscuits, and you cannot forget our gravy and mashed potatoes. <laughs> Take a bite. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to day four. I woke up today and decided that I wanted a Popeye's tender box. I am going to just be doing this off of a whim. Let me take you guys down. Take you guys down with me. You're going down with me. Okay, uh, actually I was gonna start with the, I was gonna start with the um, chicken first, but I realized the chicken's gonna go the fastest. So right now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the biscuits. Two cups of flour. A little bit more. Two uh, teaspoons of baking powder. Luckily, I found some buttermilk, you guys. Let's just weigh out the buttermilk real quick so we're ready to add it when it's time. For the butter, I'm gonna do a half a cup of butter. Get off me. Flour. I'll use my butter cutter. I'm just gonna do it until the butter is pea size. That's about what I want the butter to be. About pea size, a little bit bigger. I'm fine with that. I already know that it'll take this much butter, but buttermilk, but you only wanna add it until it's just come together. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of honey as well. Honey. So we're gonna add, say about, should be about two tablespoons. And then let's mix that in. I hear an ice cream truck. Do you guys hear that? Is that an ice cream truck? Okay, I'm back. It was mandatory. I checked to see if that was an ice cream truck. Nobody told me yesterday that I had a bunch of flour on my apron. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You don't wanna overwork this because if you know anything about biscuits, you wanna keep those nice, cold, chunky bits of butter so that when it melts, it just leaves a beautiful, melty, buttery taste. Since theirs are pretty flat, I'm going to roll these out with a rolling pin. Normally I wouldn't do that, but one layer and then two layer and fold that on top of each other. Let's roll that out, add a little flour so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna fold this on itself one more time. Okay, this is a sin. I wouldn't do this to my, my buttermilk biscuits if it was, but you guys see those butter chunks? W. All right, I'm gonna cut out the biscuits. And that out. Let me get these on a sheet tray real quick. I want them to be close to each other so that when they bake. Put these together and then continue to cut them, but really quickly though, so I don't have to, uh, so I don't heat up the butter. Before I go, put these in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. All of the working we just did with the butter, it can kind of solidify up again. Is it volume or volume, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so we're gonna get started on the Cajun gravy and I'm gonna be doing the Holy Trinity. Um, so bell pepper, onion, and celery. The thing about this recipe though is that I'm not actually gonna be using all of this. I'm gonna be using this in the gravy, but I'm also going to be straining this. Um, because the gravy at Popeye's is smooth and I want a smooth gravy. I'm contemplating whether I want to make these smaller. I mean, it's not like, it's not like it matters, but after I drain it, well, I'll tell you guys later. I'll, I mean, I can tell you right now while I'm chopping. Uh, I'm going to strain all of this stuff out and I'm actually going to use that for dirty rice uh, later for dinner. So that's a great way to repurpose. Let me 
can't try to cut all of this celery at once. Okay, celery. I'm gonna hold that paper. Alright you guys, I'm gonna make a quick uh, Cajun seasoning, whatever, because I do not have any, so I'm gonna do paprika. Do some garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, a little oregano. I'm also gonna throw in parsley. I know I don't have to do that, but I kinda want that taste of parsley in there. So. Pepper, a little bit more, okay. All right, black and seasoning or my Cajun. A little oil per usual. All right, let's add our meat. Okay, so once I got this sauteed up, I'm gonna add in the vegetables. I'm gonna saute these until the vegetables are translucent. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna add in the seasoning and cook the seasoning for a bit and then the flour. Add about two tablespoons. You know what, I lied about that. I'm also gonna add just a tad bit more. I just added two tablespoons of flour if you guys didn't hear that. Sorry. I disconnected my mic. I just got flour all over my camera too. All right. We're gonna cook this flour to cook out the flour taste. And then we're gonna add our broth. So now that flour has cooked a little bit, I'm going to add about two cups of broth And I know you're wondering, wow, Lizzie, how did you know that was two cups if you didn't weigh it out or you didn't measure it out? Guys, just trust me, okay? It was two cups. All right, so we're gonna let that simmer until it thickens up and then I'm gonna drain all of this out and that is gonna be our Cajun gravy. And all of this that I drain, I'm gonna use for dirty rice. And dirty rice is my favorite. So maybe I should do a recipe on that. This is gonna be the easier. This potato is gonna be easier. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with this potatoes. I'm not gonna make it like it's, you know, super fancy potato. I'm literally just gonna do Idaho potatoes, milk and butter because the flavor I want to come from the gravy. Let's split these in half. Let's add some water. Look at the gravy. The gravy is gravy. Guys, so since I have some extra of this blackening seasoning, I am gonna make the, the blackened ranch from um, Popeyes. I'm just gonna make a ranch real quick because I still have some seasoning and I have found some buttermilk. Oh, I need more mayonnaise. Oh no. Oh no. Little buttermilk. The rest of this blackened seasoning. Okay, and then to this, I'm also gonna add some dill, cause what's ranch without dill? A little vinegar. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, just a tad. They should make a pretty good blackened ranch. I'm not gonna lie. Look at those seasonings. As of lately, And boom, there's our blackened ranch. Let's let that marinate in the fridge. You guys, it's time to make the wet dredge for our chicken. Let me pick you guys up a little bit. Don't look over there. Look over here, okay? I'm the captain now. 
All right, to this, I'm gonna add a cup of flour, and then I'm gonna do a half a cup, half a cup. I should just do half a cup, whatever. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a half a cup of cornstarch. I'm gonna add two eggs. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, I've got this one. Oh no, I don't have red. It's just gonna turn it yellow. Okay, well, that's fine. We're gonna do just two drops of that in there. Add in some water. <gasps> Why is it blue? That's strange. I didn't put blue in there. And now let's make the dry. Two cups of flour, another half cup of cornstarch. Okay, and to this, I'm gonna add some turmeric, white pepper, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne, onion powder, some dill, and then to top that off, salt, pepper. Mix that up. Okay, I'm gonna pull these potatoes out. They are pretty much done. I can slide a fork through them, strain them, and then we're gonna mash them up. Okay, guys, I'm going to put the potatoes through this strainer. And of course, you don't have to do this if you're at home, but since I'm trying to get the full Popeyes effect, I want nice, smooth mashed potatoes. This is just milk and butter. The rest of that in there. Yeah, potatoes overboard. And actually while I have you guys here, let me strain this gravy real quick. We've got our gravy here. And I am just going to strain this out. Try not to make a mess, which apparently I'm not very good at. And this great, this, like I said, just in case you guys missed it, I'm using this in dirty rice. So I'm actually gonna cook up some white rice and I'm just gonna toss this into white rice as like a little dirty rice. You guys, so I'm editing right now and I decided to make lunch and use that leftover beef for the rice to make dirty rice and you guys, I should have included this yesterday in the video, but this is super, super good. So I recommend making this as well. All I did was do two cups of rice cooked it and then I added in the beef and it is super good. That is the gravy, oh my gosh. I wish you guys can smell this gravy. It is so spot on. And now for the best part, we are going to do the chicken. Okay, I'm gonna put all of our chicken in here. Get that batter nice and worked in there. Ew, it's slimy. And then we're gonna let it drain, get off as much as possible. I'm gonna take it over here into the dry. And my hand is wet. Ta-da, my hand is actually dry now. So we're gonna coat that in this real light. When you got it like this, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, I'm gonna throw in the biscuits while the fryer oil is heating up. I have it at 400. 
I'm gonna cook those until they are golden brown and then we're gonna breast them with some butter. We got our biscuits fresh out of the oven. Don't mind a dirty rag. Use that. Actually, I'm gonna put these ones back in, but I'm gonna take two of the best ones because these need some more time to cook. Hi, to mollies. You guys, let's plate up. First, we're gonna grab our mash. Make a little well. Grab our Cajun potato. Grab our Cajun gravy. Gonna put my two little biscuits on here. Chicken tenders, my chicken contenders on the plate. We cannot forget our blackened ranch. There's our black and ranch. Uh, hello. Hello, who told you to look that good? Look at how good this looks, guys. Holy crap. Look at this. Hold on, let me block myself out. I don't know how to block myself out. Anymore. Look at this, guys. Holy crap. We got our black and ranch, our chicken tenders, our beautiful biscuits, and you cannot forget our gravy and mashed potatoes. <laughs> I am super excited to try this. Very first thing I like to do when I have my Popeyes is dip it in the mashed potatoes and gravy. So that's what we're gonna do. Take a bite. Oh my God. This mash and gravy is spot on. I need to dip it in more gravy actually. Holy crap. That gravy is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try it with this ranch. Mm. Hold on. I had to put more gravy. I'm sorry, but that gravy is delicious. Like, it tastes exactly like it. Mm. Holy crap. Come here. Mm. Let's try this biscuit. Here, let me put the plate down. Cause I just know this is gonna be soft. Look at that buttery biscuit. Mm. Put that, let's put that in the gravy and the mash. Mm, 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 mm. I'm really in heaven right now. This is so good. This is definitely one of my favorite copycat creations. Like this is just delicious. Black and ranch. The gravy on the biscuit. <laughs> mm. 
mashed potatoes and the biscuit and gravy. Mm. <laughs> uh, my camera just died, but if you guys are still here, leave me some baby chicken emojis and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.